My name is Tani and I'm uh, from the Climate Collective from uh, Denmark, which is a small affinity-based climate action group. Okay, and uh, what was the workshop about? The workshop was about a campaign that we are part of called Free the Soil, which is basically a campaign trying to uh, attack uh, industrial agriculture as one of the key reasons for climate chaos. And um, one of our aim is to get the climate justice movement more interested in uh, agriculture as a subject and get people to develop their, their analysis, analysis around the topic. I think one thing that we realized is that the climate justice movement have actually had really great success exposing the fossil fuel industry and sort of changing the discourse around so people, everyone now agree that we need to uh, get rid of fossil fuels and we think that we have some strength in moving like broadening, broadening out our frontier and like starting the same struggle on other frontiers and there we think industrial agriculture is one of the areas where we need new analysis and we need to figure out who's actually keeping this system in place that make it impossible to bring forward real solutions. The campaign is called Free the Soil and it's basically working towards a, a climate and agriculture camp and a mass action in 2019 in the summer. Uh, the camp will be in the north of Germany, close to Hamburg, where there's a huge fertilizer production facility owned by the company Yara. Yara is one of the biggest fertilizer companies in the world. Um, they are also the biggest gas consumer, uh, industrial gas consumer in the whole of Europe. And this company see themselves as part of the solution. Their slogan is uh, Yara, feeding the world. And we need to change that discourse. We need to show that they are part of the problem, not the solution. When you look at uh, industrial agriculture, uh, the key input for that is natural gas. So the fertilizer industry have a huge interest in keeping up the system as it is today and keep extracting gas. So for us it's very important to stand in solidarity with the struggle here. And that struggle is so much interlinked with the struggle against industrial agriculture.